Hi, I'm Bliss Liam and welcome back to my channel. It's great to see you all again. I do vegan health and lifestyle videos every Wednesday. If you're new to my channel, then a big hi. Welcome and if you like what you see, please hit subscribe. Today I'm going to be making vegan chocolate biscuits. Now, as this is a healthy vegan lifestyle channel, this will of course be chocolate biscuits with a twist. I've decided to make these biscuits as a snack that I can kind of dip in and out of throughout the week. I usually make flapjack, but this week I've, I've, I've canned the flapjack and I'm going all in on the biscuits. I am pretty obsessed with flapjack though, so I may get withdrawal at some point during the week and end up making some, um, but we'll see. So anyway, enough about flapjack, these vegan chocolate biscuits are a great snack that you can eat throughout the day. You can take them to work or you can leave them in the fridge at home and just kind of snack on them as you're looking after the kids or working from home or whatever it is you kind of do on a day to day basis. They're also great as a pudding after a meal so in the past I've whipped up some banana ice cream and had that on top of them, it tastes really good. You can also eat them with nut butters like peanut butter or almond butter with a cup of tea or coffee. Another great way to eat them. I mean, you could even eat them for breakfast. The options are endless and I'm just, I'm just drooling thinking about it to be honest. So as a quick caveat to this video, I've not made these in quite a long time. So anything could happen at this point, but that's all part of the fun, isn't it? Let's get to the kitchen and get making. So this recipe is in two parts. The first part is a must. The second part is completely optional. Let me know if you decide to go for it though. So for the first part of this recipe, you'll need four tablespoons of cacao powder, about 100 grams of dates, two tablespoons of agave, 200 grams of flour. I've used buckwheat flour because as I've said before, I run a gluten-free household and buckwheat flour is gluten-free, which is marvelous. 200 grams of almonds, 200 grams of hazelnuts, there's about a heap teaspoon of almond butter there, two tablespoons of chia seeds and two tablespoons of flaxseed. If you choose to do the second part of the recipe you'll need some dark chocolate. I'm not quite sure how much there is there and I'm not quite sure how much I'm going to need so we'll just see how we go and a handful of desiccated coconut. So as you might have guessed, the first lot of ingredients will make your basic biscuits and the second lot of ingredients will involve melting the chocolate down onto a few of the biscuits and sprinkling over desiccated coconut. Now I've not tried that before on these biscuits so this could be a total disaster, I'm hoping it's not, but let's see how we get on. Now I should have said before, but for this recipe you're gonna need a food processor. Now recipes that involve a lot of equipment or equipment that's going to cost a lot, I usually try and avoid because I just think cooking or baking should be accessible to everybody. But on this occasion, I just really wanted to show you how to make vegan chocolate biscuits. I'll have a think and I'll put it in the, in the description below if I can think of a way of doing these biscuits that doesn't involve a food processor. Equally, if you can think of a way, I would love to hear about it, so please leave it in the comments below. So to start with, we're going to put the almonds and the hazelnuts into the food processor and blend them until a flour forms, so let's get to it. So this is the kind of texture we're after here guys, so as you can see it's nice and crumbly and flaky, kind of flour like. Now it's just a case of adding in the other ingredients to the blender along with a bit of water just to add a bit of moisture to it and then let's see where we end up. added a bit more cacao because it didn't look enough to me. I've also not added all of the flour as well. I think I've I over, I think I've put a bit too much in so there's probably about 150 grams in there now. Let's see how we get on. I might add some more back in. I'm gonna add some water now and then get mixing. Oh and let's add some almond milk as well because that just goes with everything doesn't it? gosh look at this mixture chocolatey goodness it's a little bit too gooey at the minute so I think I'm gonna add in the rest of that flour okay let's see how we get on now before I added the 
flour in, the texture was gooey but it was very liquid so when you're going to try and form them into biscuit shapes it needs to kind of stick together a lot better so that it holds when it's on the, on the baking tray and as you can see, um, well I'm hoping you can see that this is a lot more, it's kind of sticking together a lot more so I'm going to basically roll these into patties and then put them on a baking tray and put them in the oven. Now this is the part that gets really messy now guys, so if you've got kids or if you're just a big kid like me, you're going to have a lot of fun with this, getting totally covered in it, so yeah, let me know how you get on. I've even taken my jewellery off and put it on the side so that I don't have to clean that, clean my jewellery later, because I, I remember from making this last time, it, it just gets everywhere. <laughs> can see I've actually managed to use all of the mixture and that has made 12 biscuits. So after kind of bumbling my way through this recipe <laughs> I've managed to make a good amount of biscuits I think but that you can make these biscuits as big or as small as you like you can make really tiny ones you could even make one giant biscuit um, using the, any kind of leftover mixture that you've got. So let's get these little beauties in the oven. So I'm going to cook these on 200 and try cooking them for about half an hour. While I wait for these to cook I'm going to tidy up, Probably it's probably a good idea that I clean the kitchen, and I'm also going to make some quinoa salad for my lunches at work during the week. So I'll see you in 30 minutes. Look what I've made. I've basically made a quinoa tableau while I've been waiting for the biscuits to finish cooking. There's everything in here. There's a lot of coriander, because I love coriander. Red onions, peppers, tomatoes, loads of stuff. You can put in, in this whatever you want. I've actually done this um, in a previous What I Eat In A Day video, um, which you can find further down my channel, so you should be sure to check it out. And here they are, the biscuits fresh from the oven. Some of them have actually risen, this one, as <laughs> particularly, the bigger ones have risen like cakes, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Added bonus, which I wasn't expecting. So I think I'm gonna take Probably, which one shall I take? Let me see. I think I'm gonna take this one and this one. So I think they're the two biggest ones. And I'm gonna make, I'm gonna pour, I'm gonna make some, well, melt down some dark chocolate and pour it over the tops of those two. And then I'm gonna have the rest just in the fridge, I think, just for during the week. Oh, and I've got to say, the biscuits actually took about 45 minutes in the oven in the end, but I was cooking uh, sweet potatoes with them at the same time to have for my lunch, so they probably would have been done in a lot quicker time. And you can tell when they're done because they'll be solid on top. They might even start to look a little bit kind of crispy around the edges, which is nice. And they'll also be pretty solid underneath as well. Anyway, let's get melted some chocolate. So, to melt the chocolate, I've basically put boiling hot water in this pan, and then I've got this kind of metallic mixing bowl, which I use all the time, and I've just put the chocolate in there. I think this should cook quick, pretty quick. Um, so let's see how we get on. I think there's about 30 grams of chocolate in there. Considering I've been winging it for pretty much the whole of this recipe, I don't think we've done too bad. Melting chocolate is, is quite nostalgic for me because it's one of the earliest memories I have in the kitchen is melted chocolate in this way. If you have any other ways that you would recommend to melt chocolate, let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear how you guys do it. Oh, look at this. I love melted chocolate. There's so much steam coming out of this now. The camera's actually steaming up. So that's the chocolate all melted down guys, that's 30 grams of chocolate, which was what was in the bowl at the beginning of this um, the beginning of this video. It doesn't look a lot does it, but let's just see how far we can make it go. Now I've separated two biscuits from the pack, and these are the ones that are going to get the dark chocolate. <laughs> Now I'm going to put them in the fridge, wait for the chocolate to go solid, then they'll be good to go. Now while I'm waiting for my biscuits to cool in the fridge, I'm going to box up some of this tableau for my lunches for work during the week. And I'll also put a bit aside for my dinner, which I'm going to have in a minute. There we have it guys, the good and the ever so slightly naughty vegan chocolate biscuits. Hey.
They kind of look a little bit like burgers, but for me, it's all about the taste and the texture. So let's give one a try. They're sweet and they're quite fluffy inside as well. And they're, they taste quite chocolatey. And these are the ones that haven't got the chocolate poured over on top of them. If you decide to make this recipe, I would love to hear how you got on in the comments below. Right, that's enough chocolate biscuits for me now. I'm off to go get my dinner. Hope you've enjoyed today's video and I'll see you next time. Yay.